If you have watched our previous video on Ike version 1, you understand the need for Ike and hopefully process my little lecture on the IES photometric file format as well. After spending some time with Ike version 1, we recognized various workflow enhancements that could make Ike a more effective tool for manufacturers adding custom search keywords, CSKs, to their IES files. We believe you will be all the more productive with Ike version 2. Let's take a look at the changes. Here is Ike version 2. We move the source type selections into a pull down menu and we change the way the application, mounting, and search certification keywords worked. They're now all in columns. We also added a new search classification keyword. This was due to user response. On the surface, this may simply seem as just a different way to organize the interface, but it's actually much more powerful. We'll dig in in a second. First, let's demonstrate the basic functionality of Ike. Some of this for the folks who have not used Ike version 1. First step, back up your data. Ike will remind you on startup, there is no undo command. Changes are made in real time. Second, navigate to the folder containing the file or files you would like to edit. Third, once there, click the search button to search for all IES files in the mother folder as well as all subfolders. Now select the edit mode you wish to use. We'll demonstrate the single mode first. Select a file to edit. Notice several things happen when you do this. If you have the view edit button depressed or enabled, a pop-up will appear with all the file contents. You can actually manually edit the IES file right here and it will be immediately saved. Be careful what you do here. If the file already has CSKs embedded, all of the responses will be displayed in the Ike interface. You can see them in bold. If you like these responses and want to use them again, you can save them to a list named to suit your needs. Let's call it Demo Outdoor Area. For example, we can then apply this same CSK content to other files. Disable the View and Edit button and select another file. Now simply click the Add Replace Selected Keywords button. We've now added all the CSKs and responses that we saved in the Demo Outdoor Area list to that file. Following keywords are modified. Adding CSKs one file at a time is terribly time consuming and while you might need to do this now and then, it's not the true goal of Ike. We recognize that the easiest way to keyword a large number of files is by using the bulk edit mode. Let's change to bulk. This is best utilized when your folder structure is stratified such that all of the CSKs selected could be applied across an entire folder or even folder and subfolders. Let's illustrate. We'll start with a simple exercise by changing the manufact keyword response across the entire Instabase. Let's type in a new manufact keyword. Now we have the Zlux sample Instabase folder selected. We've already searched. All the files in that folder and all subfolders are selected here, checkmarked. We have bulk selected. Nothing else is selected. Click Add Replace. We've actually changed the Manufact Keyword response in all 22 files in the Zlux Instabase. We could also limit the response to only some of the files. We can remove all the check marks and then just check the files we want. Or we can check them all. So these are handy. All right. Let's now move on to the meat of the new Ike 2.0. Let's make a customized list of CSK responses to be applied by folder or group of files. We briefly touched on this earlier when I stored the responses from a selected file in the demo outdoor area list, but there is much more to it. The CSK lists are somewhat large and cumbersome. This one scrolls down. There's quite a bit of data in here. We can change that. 
First make sure you clear all the responses. We're preparing ourselves to write a new list. Suppose we want to create a list of application and mounting custom keyword responses that fit only our outdoor area lighting products. Here's how to make it easy. We can remove all the keyword responses that do not apply or we don't want to use. We can simply click on a response and press the delete key on the keyboard. Likewise, we'll delete automotive, canopy, classroom, commercial, corridor, educational, facade, garage, greenhouse, government, gymnasium. You get the idea. So I'm just deleting all the various keyword responses that I'm not interested in. I can do the same thing over here in mounting. I want arm, not cage, not ceiling, not ground, not in floor. In we're good with that. So we've drastically edited the keyword list that we're interested in. Let's check them. And let's check all. Uncheck these keywords because we don't want those. Now notice the red highlighting. These are actually the keywords that will be added. Let's save these as outdoor area lighting. Save. Now let's navigate to the ZL Outdoor folder and the ZL Area folder and let's click the search button. We actually have five files in that folder. You'll be dealing with a much more robust data set, so you may have a hundred files. Let's apply. The following keywords were modified in five files. Let's take a look at one. Click View Edit. Here we can see the keywords. Search Application and Search Mounting. And we can see all the responses. Just like we selected. And again, these keywords were deselected. So even though these may appear selected, they're not actually inserted in the outdoor area lighting list. If you make a mistake or you want to bring back up the Ike factory keywords, just select it from the list. And there they are. Now we can select the outdoor area lighting list. And there it is. The goal is to create multiple lists with appropriate CSKs and responses for your various product types. Then apply the keywords in bulk by folder or folder and subfolders. This should make the process easier and much more manageable. Let us have your feedback.